You can export metadata in planning, financial consolidation and close, tax reporting, enterprise profitability and cost management, and freeform. In this tutorial, you learn how to export metadata in planning. Administrators can export metadata from planning applications to a flat file. You can use the file when you migrate planning applications, when you create new planning applications but want the same metadata structure, as a template for new dimensions, as a backup for your metadata structure. In planning, I'll navigate to the export metadata page and create a new export job. The location determines if you want to export and download a file to your computer or store the file on the server. Exporting to the server allows you to save your job selections and run it at a preferred time. Exporting locally allows you to save the file to your local drive. We'll cover both methods. I'll start with exporting locally. You can export planning dimensions, user-defined dimensions, attributes, UDAs, and smart lists. You can select more than one item to export. If you want to export all dimensions in the planning application, select the dimension checkbox. For each item you want to export, select the file delimiter. Review your selections, then click Export. You may be prompted to open or save a compressed file. I'm saving the file to a local folder. I'll show you the contents of the compressed file. The account dimension members are saved to the CSV file. The exported file is structured based on the formatting requirements of the planning application. Let's return to the export metadata page. You can refresh the page to display the updated last export status. Now, I'll switch the location to export to the server. Then, I'll save my selections. I can now run or schedule a job. Let's go to Job Scheduler. Select Export Metadata from the available job types. You can choose to run the job now or schedule it to run at a later time. When you schedule a job, you can set it to recur based on a calendar pattern. You can also set an end date for the job. I'll run the export process now. From the list of available jobs, select the job you created and continue. Review your selections, then click Finish to start the export process. In Job Scheduler, click Refresh to display the status of a job. After the export process finishes successfully, the job status displays as completed. You can view detailed information when you click the job name. You can download the exported data from this link. Now, let's go to Inbox Outbox Explorer. Files stored on the server are accessible using Inbox Outbox Explorer. Here is the exported data file. You can download or delete the file using the Actions menu. To learn more, visit docs.oracle.com.